Hi guys, today we will be deriving the scientific molecular theory of gases equation. So as you can see, when we consider a box who is having a particle of mass simple m trapped inside it, which can move back and forth in between this particular region in the x direction, and we consider a velocity of cx in this particular direction. This particular mass of simple m can move back and forth in this particular region. Also, this particular particle of mass simple m can move in other direction of y and z. Now, when you consider when this particle bounces on this particular wall, we consider the force exerted by the wall on the particle. An equal and opposite force will be exerted by the ball or the particle on the wall. From Newton's third law, we can see that the force applied by the particle On the wall of the container or the box is equal to the force applied by the particular wall on the particle. This is by the Newton's third law. Also, we know by Newton's second law that the rate of change of momentum of this particular particle which is equal to F equals delta mv over t. Now, when we consider this particular particle it can have a momentum change, change of momentum which is equal to m times cx as we consider the x direction minus minus the momentum change again m times cx. This minus term comes because we consider the direction of this particular particle initially to move in this direction or to the x direction so this equation further simplifies down to 2 times m times cx this is the change of momentum also as we know this particular particle we take the particle to be initially starting from this position so the mean time taken for the particle to hit this particular wall and reach back into this wall is equal to the distance the particle travels which is x over the velocity but as the particle will rebound and travel a distance of 2x we can say that the particle is the time time of impact which is equal to 2 times x divided by the velocity we have which is cx the x direction so by this particular formula we know the time taken and also the rate of change of momentum in our previous video we got the postulate of the kinetic molecular gas theory and applied it to prove the idea gas laws. So those postulates are applied here too. We know that the rate of change of momentum can be further simplified down as we have the equations with regard to weight. So the force F is equal to 2 times n times Cx divided by the time 2 times x over Cx. When we simplify this further, 
we can obtain that this is equal to none other than m times c x squared divided by so after we obtain this particular equation we know that the pressure is also equal to the over area so the pressure exerted by this particle when you collide with the wall is equal to the over area so the area in this situation is always considered to be the distance x squared because this is a cube shaped object or a box so this force is equal to m times c x squared divided by x divided by x squared so this is equal to m times c x squared over x cube this x cube is in fact the volume in this case so we can further simplify this down to m times c x squared divided by the volume v now if we have obtained this equation we can now multiply this volume term by the pressure and take the pv product the pv product is equal to m times c x squared also this particle can be not one single particle but an array of particles so we can take this particle as a product of pv equals m times c x one squared plus m times c x two squared and this could go until we have n number of particles so m times c n squared now when we take these equations together we can see this is equal to the product pv n times m times c x squared bar this squared bar terms come because this is the average of the speed or the mean of the speed squared now we can see this particle could move in x y is a direction so the c x squared term plus the c y squared term plus the z z squared or z squared term is equal to the c squared velocity the mean square velocity is in the x y z direction are said to be equal so we can see that the mean square velocity of c x squared bar is equal to the mean square velocity we can obtain with the c y squared bar term is equal to the c c squared bar term so the c x squared bar term we obtain before is further simplified down to 103 c squared bar so we can now obtain the final equation with the derivation pv product is equal to 1 over 3 n m c squared bar this is the equation with regard to the kinetic molecular gas theory this particular c squared bar is the mean speed or the mean square speed so c squared bar is equal to c1 squared plus c2 squared plus c3 squared which goes to cn c n squared over the number of terms capital n we have derived the equation and this particular mean square speed with regard to n number of terms of particles
So this comes to an end of this video. Thank you.